The question is, uh, why legs? I mean, we get that question a lot because people see the robots and right now their very, very first application is working in a warehouse where the, where the floors are flat. So they say, why don't you use wheels? Um, and I'd say first, you should use wheels if you can for a solution. And a lot of times like a forklift or, or moving pallets around or heavy things long distances, wheels are going to be a better solution. But we're building a mobile manipulator. And more importantly, we are building multi-purpose robots that are human-centric. They need to go where people go, which means not just flat ground. It means stairs, it means outdoors. It means walking off uh, the edge of a curb that you didn't see. It means snow if you're going outdoors at some point. The vision is to go where people go. In that case, why legs? Number one, we know how to do it. That was the foundation of the company and the history of the company is something we understand well and better than most anybody else in the world. Uh, the second is it works really well for today. You can balance on these things dynamically so you have a very small footprint and yet can reach up very high. You're using the legs to position the arms as this loco manipulation solution. And it is core to our strategy for the future of human-centric multi-purpose robots that are going to get out into the world and do useful things for people, uh, coexisting with people and being in human environments.